My fellow ACADs, this is Liz. I'm a certified repair technician. Today we're discussing what to do when your laptop screen lights up but there's no picture. So an issue like this typically with a computer is oftentimes a issue with your memory or a stick of RAM in your computer. So we're going to show you a quick and simple way to diagnose this problem. So first thing you're going to do, turn your computer over, take the battery out, or if you have an in internal battery, you're going to have to open up your computer possibly to unplug it. We're going to look for an easy access panel on the bottom of your laptop. If you do not have an easy access panel, and then you might need to look at a disassembly video or go to your manufacturer's website to look at the service manual and show you how to take it apart. Because this is what we're going to need to get to is your memory or RAM. Now, RAM, you, you pull out on the side of the little arms and it kind of pops open, as you can see in this picture and the little RAM stick will pop up. And what we're going to do is going to take one stick of RAM out at a time because RAM is like headlights on a car. It tend, they tend to go bad one at a time. So I take out one stick of RAM and I leave one RAM stick of, and the other stick of RAM inside. Then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to close the computer up as much as I can and I'm going to try to turn my computer back on. The reason why I'm doing this is if with one stick of RAM, if the computer turns on with just the one installed, then I know that the stick of RAM that is outside of the computer and not installed is giving me trouble. It's preventing my computer from displaying. So if I turn it on and it works, great. If it doesn't work, then I'm going to repeat the process, only I'm going to change out for the other stick of RAM to see if that's the one that's giving me the issue because a bad stick of RAM can actually prevent your computer from displaying properly. And as a side note, sometimes your, your RAM can just come loose so it's always worth trying to just uninst uh, to uninstall both sticks and make sure they're installed properly. So just take them out and put them back in. This is a less likely scenario but it's worth trying. Okay, so I'm going to take out that other stick of RAM and I'm going to install the one that was not in use and I'm going to repeat the process. I'm going to close it back up. Once again, if it works with that one stick of RAM uninstalled, then I know that that one RAM stick is giving me the issue. Another scenario you can always try is see if your computer will display to an external monitor. That can let you know if you have, say, an LCD issue uh, or a screen issue. If you find that it displays to an external monitor, then you know that it's an issue with your screen itself. But we are going over how to test for RAM, so that's what we're doing now. All right, so now I'm gonna try turning on my computer again. If it displays, then I know that the stick, once again, outside is causing the issue. All right, so this is what your stick of RAM. So if you say, have a bad stick of RAM and you wanna know how to order a new one, this is the manufacturer, and you're gonna look for the, this is the part number, or, or, or data transfer rate. Now, this is what you're going to need to put in to say Amazon or eBay to find your correct, uh, for, to find a replacement stick of RAM. Down below we have common replacement uh, models that you might need, so you could just take that stick out and replace and um, compare it with what we have listed uh, for good quality replacement RAM. That you just compare with what you have in the, in the description we have links to Amazon. You open up your computer and you find you only have one stick so you can't take out one at a time, then you are going to have to order a stick of RAM and try it with a working stick. Okay, so next up in the troubleshooting method, we're going to try hooking it up to an external monitor or a TV if you have a TV. I'm going to take my HDMI cable or whatever cable you have and you're going to hook it up to your laptop. I'm going to hit power. Sometimes when you connect it before turning it on and will automatically display. Sometimes you have to use this key combination which is FN and then you have to look for the function key which has this little this little icon on it and you have to hit them at the same time to force it to display to an external monitor. So like I said sometimes it will just automatically display if it's hooked up when you hit power or sometimes you have to use that function key with that uh, porting to monitor other function key you have to find and you hit them at the same time right at startup. So as we can see, my computer is displaying to the monitor fine. It's just not displaying on the screen, which shows an issue with the LCD and the LCD cable. Uh, be, so those are what's, the problem is, that's what's gonna need to be replaced to either the LCD or the LCD cable. I would start with the LCD first, trying that, um, and then do the cable if, because the cable is just a lot harder to replace. Uh, your LCD cable looks something like this. 
and so that's what you're going to possibly need to replace also. Okay, so final step in the troubleshooting process, we have a BIOS reset video listed down below. Uh, that's really what we recommend after trying these two steps. So try that BIOS reset next as your final step in the troubleshooting process. Thanks for watching our video. If you found it in any way helpful, please like and share. If you like do-it-yourself computer repair videos or if you're just a fellow egghead, then go ahead and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and one of our certified repair technicians will get back to you. But anyway, from one egghead to another egghead, this is Liz signing out.